Hi Leo, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what are your person's feelings for the third party? What are your person's feelings for the third party? Now, of course, this reading is not going to be for all of you. This reading is just for you Leos who knows that your person is involved with a third party or you suspected, or you just have reason to believe that it's true that they have a third party, then this reading is going to be for you. All right, let's go ahead and get start. <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's see, spirit angels and guides, what are this person's feelings for the third party, whoever it is that Leo is connecting to and dealing with in love? Alright, Leo, first card we have here is the Page of Wands in reverse, the Page of Cups in reverse, the Hermit card, the Eight of Swords upright, the Eight of Pentacles upright, and the Three of Wands upright. At the bottom we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. All right, just taking a look here. Well, in regards to your person's feelings for the third party, I don't feel like there's much feeling. There's much feelings there, Leo. I feel like your person has lost interest for the third party. Yeah, they're not interested. They're bored by them. They feel like the connection is not there anymore. The attraction is not really there anymore. I feel like your person is ready to move on from, from the third party. It it can also be a um a matter of distance. It could with the three of wands. It could be that the third party is at a distance from your person, and that's also creating um, a weakness in their connection, mm -hmm. a weakening in their connection. Hmm. Let me clarify. Tell me about the three of wands, spirit. Okay, clarifying the three of wands, we have the seven of wands. And we also have the emperor. The eight of wands, page of wands in reverse, five of swords. Yeah, so I feel like there was some sort of argument between them, some sort of um, fight, disagreement between them. And I feel like somebody blocked somebody here. It could be that your person blocked them or, or they blocked your person. Yeah, whatever it might be, I do feel like there's no communication between them right now. Okay, tell me about the Eight of Swords here, Spirit. We have the Devil card. We have the Judgment card. 
Yeah, so your person has to make a decision whether they want to permanently, you know, separate from this person. Because I feel like right now um, they're separated because of some sort of um, conflict that they went through. I don't necessarily feel, though, that it's a permanent um, ending. Um, I feel like your person is is thinking of, you know, of... Is thinking about it. They're thinking about whether they should make this a permanent ending or not. There is an energy of toxicity here with the devil card. Things are toxic between them. What else, spirit? Anything else? Tell me about the hermit. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This could be an ex-wife or an ex-husband, by the way. Or this can be someone that they're married to, that they're thinking about divorcing, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Because the connection is just kind of dead already. It's, It's been dead for a long time. You know, I feel like there's a cycle being perpetuated here. Um, a cycle that needs to end. And I feel like your person is, like, going through that detachment process. That difficult detachment process. Okay, so hopefully that made sense to um, some of you. Let's take a look at what are your person's feelings for you, Leo, okay? Let's see if we can get a, a comparison there. Spirit angels and guides, how does this person feel about Leo? Alright, Leo, first card we have here is, these cards are so big, it's hard to hold them, <laughs> and to shuffle them. Alright, first card is Queen of Pentacles, Four of Cups in Reverse, the Hangman, Queen of Cups in Reverse, the Knight of Cups in Reverse, and the Chariot. At the bottom, at the bottom we have Four of Swords, okay. How does this person feel about Leo? Well, they're divided. They're divided in two here. Yeah, look at that. They're stressed out with the Four of Swords and with the Nine of Swords. Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords. They don't know what to do. Um... They need to let go of something here with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Sorry for the rooster. They're not sure if they're ready to let go of something with the Four of Pentacles. Um, they're scared to take a risk. They're kind of um, causing things to be stuck between you two with the hangman. Because I feel like they're taking their time here to to think about things. But I do feel like they're overthinking. They're thinking too much here. They're not really letting themselves be guided by their heart and by their feelings. Because they're being emotionally closed off. They have to make a decision in regards to who they want to invest their time and energy into. Queen of Pentacles. Who they want to have a commitment with or who they want to settle down with. Um, 
four of cups in reverse i feel like they need to reject someone there's or they or reject you they need to decide whether they're going to reject you or not or if they or if they want to move forward with you with a chariot card let me get a little clarification here tell me about the queen of pentacles spirit We had the Eight of Cups in reverse, yeah, or the Nine um, and the Knight of Wands upright. So I do feel like they have to decide whether they want to return back to the past or if they want to move towards a different future. So I do feel like they're they're divided here between the past and the future, or between something old and something new, you know. What is the hangman about, spirit? We have the lovers, okay? And we have the seven of swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't have both. You know, I feel like that's the problem. They can't have both. They can't have both, and that's where they're struggling. I feel like this person... Um, is scared to leave behind their comfort zone, you know? They're scared to take a risk. And they kind of want to just have everything. But, you know, they're they're cheating themselves. They're they're deceiving themselves with the seven of swords. They're not they're not being realistic here. Tell me about the char um yeah, the chariot. We have the Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Three of Pentacles is the third party situation. So they have to choose to cut cut someone out of their life. The Queen of Swords has a knife, um, has a sword here. A blade to cut someone out of their life. So... It's about making that decision. Let's see what else. Two of Wands in reverse. They might need to relocate also with the Two of Wands. And the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's an ending here. Um, yeah, but this person doesn't know. Like, they're in real, as of right now, they know they have to cut someone out. They just don't know who. Yeah, right now they're kind of dragging things out, taking their sweet time, you know, put it, putting you on standby, basically. So let's see what messages would your person like to say to you. I'm going to pick some cards from the Hidden, Oracle, Hidden Truth Oracle deck. Spirit angels and guides, what messages would this person like to say to Leo, please? Finding out the truth crushed me. Finding out the truth crushed me. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Mm, th uh, these could be messages that you're saying to them, Leo, by the way, because I kind of felt that energy. So for some of you, these messages on these cards are what you're saying to them, okay? I left you before you could leave me. Just being near you is intoxicating. All right, Leo, those were your message. I hope this reading resonated. Thank you so much for watching. Please um, give me a thumbs up um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.